So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about evergreen designs. A lot of people still don't quite get what they are. A lot of new subscribers have been asking me to talk about them. So I thought, why not make a video that's aimed at explaining evergreen designs and how these can allow you to make more money online. So yeah, if you're ready for this one, please do drop a like as that would be very much appreciated. And with that said, let's jump straight into this. Hi guys, my name is Phil and welcome to the Money Game YouTube channel. For anyone that's new around here, I make print on demand content to both motivate and to give you guys tips and tricks on how you can improve your print on demand shop. So if you're new around here and you haven't already, make sure that you're clicking on that subscribe button with the notification bell turned on and that way you won't miss out on any of my future videos as well as information that can potentially help you guys to make some extra money online. And for those who don't already know, down in the description, I have a free print on demand starter guide that features a lot of the information that I used to get my first few sales on sites like Redbubble. However, if you are looking to turn this into more of a full-time thing, I also have a paid step-by-step -step guide that's linked down below. Check that out if that's something you're interested in. Like I said, the topic of this video will be print on demand evergreen designs explained. So the things I'll be talking about will apply to sites like Redbubble, Merch by Amazon, Spreadshirt, Etsy, whatever print on demand site you use. And for those who don't quite know what evergreen designs actually are, they are designs that can pretty much sell all year round. They don't need a specific trend or holiday to increase in sales. And in my opinion, they're pretty much pure gold if you can get the right ones. Think of it this way. If you have a print on demand store and let's say you get 500 designs on that store and 50 to 100 of those designs are selling all year round, you pretty much have yourself consistent passive income coming from those designs. So evergreen designs are very powerful and what most of us should strive for if we're looking to get those consistent sales all year round. Now I'm going to be talking about three different evergreen niches that you can cover and that you can dive into to find more sub niches to give you guys ideas for your designs that could also sell potentially all year round. And if you're not doing so already, trust me, you might want to take some notes with this one. So the first niche we have here is the nurse slash doctor niche. Now things in these niches usually sell particularly well. Unfortunately, the amount of competition in these niches are large. As you can see, just with the doctor niche alone, there's 1,996 results, which is crazy, but you can actually break into these niches and find sub niches that can allow you to get evergreen designs ideas that like I've been saying, will sell. And for those of you that are wondering how to do this, it's fairly easy. So let's say we jump on Redbubble, obviously we search doctor, you will see, obviously there's a lot of results. Right at the top, you get some suggestions of other niches you can jump into. So if we jump into medical practitioner, you'll see that there's now 6,990 results. So the number has dropped drastically. Now you could create designs to obviously go in this niche as there's less competition, or once again, you can go through the tabs to see if you can find any other ideas that you could implement your designs into. Anything that pretty much falls in line with this type of niche could potentially lead to you landing evergreen designs. For example, I've got a pediatric nurse here. It's dropped down to 3,311 results. You could just create some simple text-based designs if you wanted to, just to get yourself in niches like this. And my rule of thumb is if you're someone that's new to Redbubble, that's looking to get sales, you know, fairly quickly, I'll say to look for some niches that have less than a thousand results as this will allow you to obviously get the traction you want. But if you're someone that's been getting a few sales here and there, you can potentially jump into niches that have 3000 results and Redbubble will still boost your designs up there. But that's mainly if you're already getting sales. And as you can already see, evergreen niches aren't too hard to find if you know what to do and you could apply all these niches to also different print on demand stores you don't just have to be you know using this on redbubble you can use these niches on etsy merch by amazon and different print on demand stores and even if you're not getting that many sales in comparison to redbubble you'd still get sales elsewhere the second set of evergreen niches you guys could be covering are in the dog or cat niche or you could just generalize this and say pet niches 
These are niches that sell quite well on Redbubble as people love things to do with obviously their pets as well as certain animals. As you can see, the competition in the dog niche especially is very high. There's over a million results. Now you're gonna be wanting to obviously stand out when the competition is that high. Once again, you can apply the same methods to what I showed you the last niche to actually niche down and find some niches into this. Luckily enough, with animal based niches, there's a lot you can do to actually do that. And jumping straight onto Redbubble, as you guys can see, obviously there's a lot of competition in the dog niche. Once again, we have tabs at the top here. It's pretty much different breeds of dogs. If we go onto Labrador, it will drop down from a million to 33,000, as you guys can see here. If you want to sub niche down even further, you can go into a yellow lab or black lab, which is obviously short for Labrador and competition will drop again. As you can see 7,000 results and you can continuously just look for different keywords that pique your interest that could potentially have low results. For example, we've gone from black lab to chocolate lab and we are now under 3,000 results. There's a lot of things you can do to play with the bigger niches to find sub niches that can allow you to get evergreen design and this is just an example and it will be the same if we were to search cat so let's say i search cat here obviously over a million results once again if you then scroll along i mean if we click on cat lover the results will drop from over a million we're now at over two hundred thousand. if we're going to cat drawing i'm expecting it to drop down again and what you can then do is just look for little things that are related to obviously the niche that you're in. So cat breed, for example, I'm guessing this is going to have low results. 10,200 fur parent. I've not really seen that before. 2000 results, as you guys can see here. And like with any niche, you can sub niche like I'm doing here and find yourself some evergreen designs that could potentially sell all year round all it takes is just taking a little bit more time to do a little more research into some of those bigger niches because you need to understand if something has a lot of competition in it one it means that it must already be doing really well two a lot of people that are new to the platform are probably just throwing things onto that niche because it's already doing well. And because of those two things, you need to find a way to make yourself stand out. And the main way of doing that is to sub niche into some of these bigger niches. Now, the third thing I have here is a bit more broad and it's pop culture quotes. Now, when it comes to this kind of thing, usually people post pop culture quotes in Redbubble sticker form. And for those who don't know, stickers are actually the best selling product on Redbubble. The good thing about pop culture quotes is the fact that they can help you get sales in the short term and some of them may be trending and long term they could continue to get you sales because some of these pop culture quotes or memes actually last a very long time. A lot of people obviously choose to just make one saying and put it as a design other people make sticker packs. People that do that are people that are trying to pretty much stand out more against the competition. And as this is broader, you can't just type pop culture quotes on Redbubble and go from there. You need to do a little bit more research, dig deep, look to see what kind of quotes are trending. As long as they're not trademarked, you can put them either onto sticker packs, onto singular stickers, and these can become evergreen selling designs in the long term. And if you're lucky enough in the short term, some of these may also be trending and get you a lot of sales. And yeah, guys, that's just three various ways for you guys to actually create your own types of evergreen niches. There's so many other examples out there. If I wanted to, I could have covered 20 plus things in this video because there is so many. You just need to use these tactics I'm speaking about, look into various niches, sub niche, and you will get yourself ideas of things that could be evergreen niches. But yeah, I hope in this video, I explained obviously what evergreen niches are for those that didn't know. If you've got this far, please do drop a like as that'd be very much appreciated. And also comment down in the comment section, evergreen. I try to respond to as many of you guys as possible. And yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Always remember that everything is rigged in your favor and manifest success.